All right, I'm pretty excited about this. Uh, perfect day to show this too. We're going to give our Pluto SDR some independence here. Uh, and <laughs> we're going to uh, essentially build portions of SIG Digger or install portions of SIG Digger on the Pluto SDR uh, to allow it to run completely headless and have a way to access it outside of the uh, local network with uh, SIG Digger on, um, so I don't know, say a laptop or something else outside of the LAN. So I have my Pluto SDR plugged in uh, with a USB Ethernet adapter on the uh, just on the network here for right now and we're going to get this up and running really quick. Uh, I've already checked and found the IP address. I uh, actually just did a reboot of it which um, I should point out that what the steps that we're going to take are not uh, persistent past the reboot so that uh, hopefully will be something in the future that could be added here. Uh, and so if you get something like this, it's because I had already um, SSH'd in and then uh, rebooted here. So let's wipe our mount hosts and we'll start fresh. So using the default username and password for the Pluto SDR, this is uh, version 33 of the firmware. And we're going to start here. So uh, we've got an um, awesome individual here on Twitter that uh, linked up uh, and made a uh, an idea happen here, which was to run portions of SIG Digger uh, on the Pluto SDR. So these um, directions are direct from uh, his website here. And uh, you can follow along. These may change as time goes on and some development happens. But for right now, this uh, works really well. Because I have mine on the Pluto uh, on the internet itself, uh, I'm just going to pull directly down from the site and then I will apply the patch. We can see now that if we run Soapy Utilities here, we should find the Pluto SDR. And then we'll also have access to the SUS CLI um, that we are going to use to share this uh, Pluto SDR, which uh, is much more efficient this way uh, than the uh, SOAPI itself, uh, not to mention the fact that you can access it from outside the network. Uh, we can take a look at two profiles that are already uh, created for us. And while that's loading, we're going to jump over here to SIG Digger because this is going to take a little longer. And we're going to clone, we'll open up another terminal here, and we'll get this going. Uh, I'm going to start fresh. We'll do a get clone. Well, actually, change to the desktop, we'll do a git clone. We'll pull in SIG Digger. We'll go into SIG Digger and we need to do a git checkout of the develop branch. And then we'll change into the scripts folder and we'll run build.sh. And We'll talk a little bit about something else while this is running. This is going to build the 0.2.0 .0 version of SIG Digger here, which is what we are going to need to connect to our Pluto SDR. So let's jump back over to our Pluto SDR and we'll take a look at running another command here. Dev serve. We need to put our IP address. And we could add a no hop after that. Something like this, I believe, which would push it to the background and it should survive, which is what I'm hoping to do by leaving the Pluto SDR uh, where I am at now and then connecting to it during the week here for further testing uh, from outside the local network. But for now, I'll just run this command here. We will make sure that the server piece starts up. 
All right, so it's announcing on two profiles here on port 28001 and 28002. And I will be back once Sig Digger finishes uh, building. All right, we're back. Sig Digger has finished building. We've got our Pluto SDR on the network and being shared. We'll change into our deploy route and run Sig Digger directly this way. And again, this is on DragonOS Focal R15 that I'm doing this, which already had a lot of the um, Pluto SDR, the SOAPY pieces already installed. And so that build used a lot of that to get this going. You would change uh, your analyzer type from local to remote. Come down here, we plug in the IP address. And uh, I think 28002 looking at a 1 meg versus the 28001 at 3. So let's try this. We'll let it connect here. Might take a second. It would help if I hit the run here. So now we are connected. You can see here to the Pluto over the network, Pluto completely uh, headless, uh, no other you know computer or um, Raspberry Pi involved, just the Pluto itself. You can see we can tune as needed. Now we can't change the sample rate uh, on the fly here, but what we can do is change the profile that is set to a different um, sample rate. Uh, some things may uh, come across the, as far as like gain and, and some other things uh, sometimes may not uh, come across to be able to set and I'm sure that will be something to uh, resolve in the future. Uh, I have just the standard antennas on the Pluto SDR and it's sitting probably not in the most ideal place uh, with uh, some noise and some other uh, stuff around it. It definitely does not have a clear uh, uh, area for the pr uh, the best re reception but this is mainly just to show the connection so if we stop this and we connect to our other port come back here reconnect you'll see the sample rate has changed And wherever uh, that profile is set to start at frequency wise and other that's where you're going to see the uh, setting come up here in the upper left uh, but then you can adjust that so you're not locked at the specific frequency that you built the profile at all right and then of course you got some other features of uh, sig digger that we'll dig more into in the future this is just a quick hey get up and running get your pluto sdr completely independent of a another small board computer and just using it directly uh, I think this has uh, obviously a lot of room to improve so pretty excited I will make sure in the next release of Dragon OS uh, whether it's for the Pi or the um, regular PC x64 based I want to have this all uh, built in there and available uh, as well as um, you know the Pluto SDR part of it. Now if you didn't want to run the Pluto SDR independently you could always plug it into a Raspberry Pi and then run the remote uh, agent on the Raspberry Pi. It might get you a little more processing power and would allow sharing multiple but uh, just the fact that we can have this standalone Pluto SDR I think is uh, really really impressive so appreciate all the help uh, that uh, everyone uh, did and well of course all the development of Sig Digger and uh, the Pluto SDR packages um, that's uh, I'm sure really going to be appreciated by a lot of people. Alright, thank you.